hello everybody welcome to the session of introduction to sonar cube so in last session we covered the topics uh, what is code quality how to measure the code quality and uh, then seven axes of code quality after that technical depth so we all know that what is code quality and the importance of that in our project so but in measurement topic uh, that is how to measure code quality uh, we have not seen any tool to measure the code quality of our project so in this session we will get introduced introduced to sonar cube uh, and we will see what are the benefits and how to measure the code quality using sonar cube so we will cover uh, in this session sonar cube what is that and why should we use that uh, sonar cube is static code analysis tool which is free and open source tool so it is totally free and due to that uh, it is a famous uh in uh mostly all organization to calculate the code quality of the project uh we can say uh, measuring the code quality instead of uh, we will call it as static code analysis tool which calculate or measure your static code and analyzes it and displays the records or uh, matrix uh on the dashboard uh okay uh, so uh, as we saw uh, and uh, learn uh, the code quality axis uh, so it manage uh, all seven axes of core quality which are architecture and design duplications unit test complexity potential bug coding rules and comments and documentation so uh, as we all know and we covered that in previous section all seven uh, parameters or axes are given uh, their reports of uh, code quality in percentage uh, so that we will be configuring to the sonar cube tool and uh, we can uh, manage our da dashboard uh, as per our requirement that is uh, uh, suppose i want to see only duplications of code in my project uh, so i will configure the uh, widget of uh, duplications uh, of code quality and uh, although that is not a best practice to consider only one axis but sometimes there are requirement and uh, plan to fix only that so we can configure particular uh, access or particular uh, key of code quality that is we can consider uh, duplications of code unit test cases complexity and comments these are four main uh, we can say the key points of the code quality measurement so we can configure dashboard according to that after that uh, what is sonar cube Uh, as i said sonar cube is a static code analysis tool which is free and open source so anybody can uh, get the uh, source code of sonar cube uh, uh, done do your modifications regarding the features and use that and it is absolutely free there that is the uh, main reason of uh, being famous uh, static code analysis tool among mostly most of the companies so it is a web application and uh, uh, it is a web application so you can configure everything online uh, so uh, we will uh, see installation of uh, sonar cube uh, in the next session so uh, before that uh, Uh, when we configure install and configure the sonar cube it will give you a url which will consider the dns or ip and the port uh, so after going on that after logging to the sonar cube 
it will give you uh, the dashboard or the settings to configure rules quality profiles uh, and alter the dashboard threshold uh, setting of threshold and other settings like the uh, admin part users and groups permissions setting up dashboard widgets everything you can set that online uh, as it is a web based application we will see in detail what are the rules quality profiles how to show uh, how to set threshold alarms uh, in sonar cube in next session and uh, sonar cube uses a dashboard uh, database uh, it may be mysql oracle uh, anything uh, so we will also see that in next session so using that database sonar cube not only allow to combine metrics uh, but it also uh, allow and mix them uh, with the historical measurement uh, to make you understand it uh, clearly suppose uh yesterday i have analyzed my uh, all seven met, uh, all seven uh, code quality uh, access uh, on my code uh, and it gave me uh, reports on my dashboard okay and that is saved in my database that report is already saved in my database so after that after two days i will uh, uh, again uh, measure my code quality uh, key points and that is also saved in uh, that is also saved in my database uh, so on that basis it will measure my uh, all data as i have mentioned for the two days yesterday and after two days so it will measure my that two days data and it will show me historical measurement on basis of my that key points it will show me the graph also and in numbers also the percentage of uh, all seven key points uh, and it fetches data uh, from the database that may be mysql and oracle so we will consider it as mysql for now so it will uh, every time it will make a entry of your uh, measurements to the database uh, for the reports it will get the history or the records from the database also and it show you that historical measurement on the uh, on your uh, configured dashboard sonar cube is having efficient and easy dashboard to handle wages as i said there are uh, there are uh, many widgets uh, which we can configure for everything for the duplications for the comments percentage for the files different difference and uh, everything potential bugs we can uh, get a list of bugs depends on the uh, languages uh, uh, and uh, we can also choose the language on which we have uh, our project after that we can uh, install um, our plugins uh, related to languages to do the code quality analysis uh, using the dashboard um, so you can you can say like for everything you can find a widget and you can configure that for your easy understanding and efficient efficient way to uh, have a record of your all data which you can fetch from the uh, dash uh, database uh, and uh, sonar cube analysis source code and byte code so it analyze your uh, uh, project code analyze that and uh, it uh, measures and uh, show the report on the dashboard so sonar cube for everything it what it means uh, initially sonar cube was uh, developed only for java language what does this mean that is uh, sonar cube was only having the uh, plugins for java language only like uh, to get the percentage of uh, unit test cases success and failure for the java only to get uh, the java doc uh, for the comments and documentation percentage again uh, for the potential bugs what are the best practices for the java language only but uh, as and when the requirement of uh, sonar cube was 
uh, getting popular and uh, it was most uh, for the static code analysis uh, source code so they developed uh, sonar cube such a way that uh, now sonar cube supports the uh, supports uh, over 20 languages so you, as you can see on the slide uh, these are the some some of languages which we use mostly uh, in our project are uh, c c++ plsql visual basic c sharp php python but obviously Java is there, uh, XML, Android, HTML, JavaScript, Groovy for the web, XHTML is there, uh, JSP is there, JSF is there, etc. Most, uh, mostly it supports uh, many languages uh, including the Java and uh, as, they sub as SonarCube support the 20 languages, it's a, uh, it gave you the wide list of the plugins uh, for the code coverage, for the unit test cases, for the uh, bugs and vulnerability list and the rules which are having for the individual, uh, uh, we can say individual languages. So this, this is a wide range of uh, languages supported by the Sonar Cube. This is the most, uh, this is one of the reason uh, why sonar cube is popular the first one as we saw is it is free it is open source no any uh, payment or uh, any license required to use sonar cube third uh, second one is uh, it is having a easy and uh, scalable uh, dashboard and uh, widgets to configure everything uh, after that, it supports uh, all seven code quality axes, and it measures that. Uh, again, the fourth one is database is there for the historical for the historical measurements, uh, and the fifth one is it supports the wide variety range of the languages and plugins. After that, we will look for the sonar cube is for everyone so as we saw sonar cube is everything and now it is time to get understood that uh, how many people are uh, from the project uh, who can access the sonar cube as you can see on the, the screen uh, for the developers uh, it is beneficial uh, and uh, how it is beneficial is uh, the developer can see uh, is my code good or uh, any improvement is required in my code or not. So it is uh, easily, uh, the developer can easily get access for the dev uh, dashboard of Sonar Cube to see the code is good or not. For this, um, uh, as we saw that web application, so Sonar Cube is a web application so uh, it is everything online so you can configure and get report online but there is another way also for the each and every individual developer you can set up a sonar cube which can be analyzed and uh, uh, analyze the source code uh, sorry on your machine and it will show you the reports uh, on your uh, machine only and so you can improve your code and after that you can commit your code to the remote repository and the web application sonar cube will fetch the code from the remote repository and everything is fine so no need to go uh, go to the remote uh, remote sonar cube see uh, see if there is any changes then do the changes after that uh, push the changes to remote repository and after that do again the sonar analysis. It is better way to uh, install and configure sonar cube on the local also and remote also. Remote is nothing but a web application as we saw in the previous slide and uh, as I am talking about the local sonar cube. So it is like uh, every developer, every QA is having a sonar cube set up on their machine and they can see the reports of their code uh, and they can fix that there only and after that they can push their changes to remote repository 
and from remote re repository the code is get uh, get pulled uh, for the sonar cube analysis and you can see everything is green over there on the web application we can see uh, we will see and learn how to configure sonar cube uh, locally and remotely that is the web application and uh, how to uh, pull and push the uh, git code for the remote and local also and uh, how to check the reports and how to fix the um, bugs everything we can see uh, we will learn in the next uh, session so for now we can see uh, we will see uh, the sonar cube uh, who can use the sonar cube so for developers we have uh, we got an idea uh, how developers can uh, use the sonar cube want to check the code is good or any improvement is needed for the tester which part of system lack the unit test uh, unit testing as the code quality is one axis is uh, unit testing so uh, it is useful for the tester to check the percentage of success and failure of the unit test cases on that basis uh, the tester can analyze the which part of uh, the coding of the developer is lacking for the unit test cases so as per the report tester can tell to uh, uh, developers uh, like this part is uh, missing or this part is not having uh, uh, any uh, any test cases so it is better uh, after that uh, for uh, architecture and the managers this conference will now be recorded So as we saw for the developers and for testers, how Sonar Cube is useful for the architects and managers. Uh, as we all know that architects and managers are the higher level. So they only deal with the reports and number of the analysis. So for architects, one of the uh, access for the code quality uh, measurement is architecture and design. So it is, uh, it is basically used for the architects. So they can quickly go through the reports and the complexity of the architecture. So uh, it is useful for the architects also. And for managers, uh, we all know that managers deal with the numbers and the, only the status of the uh, project or the code quality measurement. So it is useful like uh, the managers can set up their own dashboard with the required numbers and uh, they can see uh, is uh, uh, our project is going up or down with the code quality measurement. So as we saw, Sonar Cube is used for the developers also and testers also. Again, the architects also and managers also. So it is useful for the uh, whole team. And also we uh, get to know that Sonar Cube we can set uh, as a local setup also and remote setup also. Okay, so. Uh, so here are some more details about the sonar cube. So uh, track and reduce the technical depth on an uh, ongoing basis. As we have uh, seen in the last session that uh, it is good that technical depth is uh, less then we, uh, we don't require uh, any extra time to manage or to uh, uh, get our code clean and neat if the technical depth is less. So Sonar Cube work mainly for that. It track and reduce the technical depth. Again, engage all developers uh, from the project day one as it gave you all the reports, uh, how many comments, uh, comments uh, uh, some developer have done, reports for the coding standard, coding practices, uh, again, the uh, code quality. So if there is any uh, any developer who is having uh, code quality, who is having code quality uh, problem, then the code quality 
measurement less or it is not up to the mark so that developer can easily see there is no need of anyone or review by anyone that uh, to tell that developer please correct this and uh, uh, please do your work it will uh, by default engage all developers from the project day one get updated uh, updated when technical depth is uh, beyond the threshold as we have seen in last slide that we can set up a threshold and get notified or set a alert uh, for the same so it is get updated uh, if the technical depth is uh, beyond the threshold as we have set uh, for the dashboard get everything on reports as we all know for the managers reports are compulsory uh, for the higher authority and higher level reports are mandatory to show them so it will be easy uh, from the database uh, we have configured for the uh, sonar cube so you can get reports easily from the sonar cube uh, dashboard also or uh, in html format also in incremental and uh, daily wise reports also um, to check the code quality okay thank you everyone uh, as we all have got idea about what is sonar cube and how uh, uh, why that is famous in uh, overall organization and uh, after that uh, what all uh, activities we can perform with the sonar cube and how it help to uh, calculate the code quality measurement and uh, how it uh, alert you or notify you for the technical depth we will uh, see the installation uh, of sonar cube uh, on the windows and linux in the next session thank you